I mean, dude, what is there to even say about Pokimane that has not been said at this point? Oh, here, I got something. She's race baiting. Now, if it isn't obvious to you, Pokimane tries very hard to portray herself as a certain way. Pokimane is trying very hard to depict herself as an Asian woman, whether it would be her channel art depicting an anime girl, or whether it would be her using makeup in order to artificially create natural Asian features. And you see, this would not be problematic if Pokimane was actually Asian. How do I know she's not Asian? Well, uh, she said it herself. On a video released on May 14th, 2019, titled, Is Pokimane Asian? I Take a DNA Test. Well, uh, she pretty much says, yeah, I'm not Asian. I'm 85% North African and Arabian. And it's crystal clear that she's race baiting when you take one look at her without makeup. Yeah pretty shocking. Now, one other thing that I think is honestly kind of a gem that's come out upon this whole situation is the fact that thousands upon thousands of simps are unsubscribing to Pokimane's Twitch channel after hearing the news that she may have a boyfriend. Bro, I don't think you understand. There are dudes who actually thought they had a shot dating Pokimane and now are unsubbing to her on Twitch because she has a boyfriend. Like, my guy, if you even want to have a shot with dating Pokimane, she gotta know you exist first, and I don't think the way to do that is to give her thousands of dollars. Like, my guy, you ain't Santa Claus, bro. It ain't Christmas. You can stop donating her thousands of dollars. Like, just treat her like an average person. Like, bro, Pokimane is not some homeless person playing the drums on the side of the street in San Francisco. She does not need your hundred dollars to survive. Then, of course, the argument shifts into, why would you donate to any Twitch streamer who's economically secure? Well, that's different, okay? You can support their content without actually wanting to take them on a date. The majority of Pokimane's donators actually have a crush on her. And for probably like the two percent of people who actually donate to her because they enjoy her content. I mean, like, I'm sorry you got lobbed into this, but at the same time, I'm sure you can find another streamer who actually makes better content. And it's pretty obvious that Pokimane isn't up for the job of even being a Twitch streamer. If she's gonna take, like, one month off, like, literally go on vacation for a month after having a little bit of controversy. And if you didn't think that was enough proof of her not being able to take criticism, her just, you know, disappearing from the internet when things aren't really in her favor, and if by now you haven't heard about it, she's actually blacklisted, like, a trillion words that relate to anything that's been happening on her Discord server, so pretty much if you type in these words, you're banned. So let's actually take a look at some of these words real quick. We got simp, diesel, content nuke, diesel patches, a YouTube link, hypocrite, it's a Gundam, pokey is ugly, 2 out of 10, simp with a 1 instead of the I. We got Gundam, hypocritical, leafy, leafy, Pokimane trash, Pokimane is trash, frick Pokimane, tier 3, Pokimane sucks, Leafy, another YouTube link, Content Fallout, another YouTube link, Keemstar, Criticism, another YouTube link, Has a Boyfriend, Content Fallout, Leafy, Plant Guy, Leafy, Leaf, Leafy, and this is my favorite one by far, you guys ready for this one? Play Pokimane Fart Compilation 4K HDR Dolby Digital, and then there's just some other random YouTube links, but you get the gist. And the way that Leafy phrased it was pretty much spot on, I mean, the way that Pokimane is incapable of taking criticism to the point where she needs to censor out any and all criticism is pretty much very similar to that of an authoritarian dictator. And if you're only getting a glimpse of this because of the Discord blacklisted words, I got some news for you. This has been happening for months. You know what? Years. Pokimane has copyright striked and taken down various videos that simply criticize her and her content. Videos that are well within their legal right to exist on the platform and make money for the people who uploaded it. And it's funny because Pokimane has not only copyright striked videos that criticize her, she's also just striked out, you know, innocent compilation videos. Pokimane is a villain. I don't really care what side you stand on, she is a villain. And now that everyone's finally taking notice and standing up to her, what do you think she's gonna do in response? Will she A, apologize for her actions and actively try to make herself a better creator? B, apologize for her actions and try to help the creators whom she's harmed? C, play the massive victim card to try to get internet sympathy? Or D, just uh, yeah 
take a vacation. Well, if you guessed D, ding, 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 you're right. Go collect your prize, baby, because, uh, yeah, she's not taking any criticism. Because as much as Pokimane likes to censor and strike people who disagree with her, Twitter is not necessarily a platform that allows that. Honestly, dude, YouTube aside, there's been a lot of drama regarding Pokimane on Twitter that really kind of unfolded before any of the content nukes that Leafy made even existed, so I brought my friend on Tagswag to talk about that a little bit. He's someone who I've had on the channel before, and if you guys enjoy him, go check him out. So I'm back on the Achito channel. What's up? So he invited me on here to talk about Pokimane today. I made three videos on her already, and I wonder why. She pretty much just surrounds herself with controversy on a daily basis. So pretty much what has happened recently is Leafy made a few videos about her, and Keemstar made a few tweets about her. And this tweet by Keemstar... Pokimane 2 out of 10 pretty much just broke the internet. I don't know how the hell two numbers and a slash could break the entire internet, but okay. Is this serious? A bunch of verified people took this tweet very seriously, and I don't understand why. It's Keemstar. You really think Keemstar is gonna be posting serious tweets on the daily? I don't think so. If anything, he's a news channel, so he's gonna try and trigger all these people, and he can get a video out of it. Look at that. After that, Keemstar made a video calling out all these people who white knighted Pokimane in the comment section of his 2 out of 10 tweet. He pretty much just said, now that it's a quote loser thing to do to defend Pokimane, no one's saying anything now. Like all these mean and nasty replies that Keemstar is getting, I'm sure there's a few, but most of them are gone. So people are putting their quote swords away. Like he said, once it's seen as the uncool thing to do. Anyways, I'll have the goat himself explain it. And now, if you like Pokimane, you're a complete loser. I mean, I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that's the way it is on the internet. And now I see nobody defending her, all right? I hate tier three subs, I hate simps, but you know what I hate even more is these fake people out there that like, the fake friendships and they'll say whatever they think the public will agree with you right if you were out there talking to me and defending pokimane when i rated her two out of ten where are you now you fake right now that now that it's really uncool to support pokimane you're just gonna just shut up oh i'm just not gonna say anything right when you thought it was safe when you were white knighting and you thought you were gonna get brownie points in the internet for defending pokimane sure you're right there with your sword but now that it's incredible oh, no, no. after all this happened leafy decided to drop three videos on pokimane they were all in the same format as idubs content cops in this video he pretty much just came at the tier three subs and pokimane of course he also made claims that pokimane has a boyfriend based on this clip right here did pokemon and toast already leak have they gone public with it Okay. And all I'm gonna say is tier 3 subs big mad. They pretty much just threw their life savings at a girl that probably doesn't even know they exist. And she has a boyfriend. It's just to add salt on the wound. Also after Leafy dropped his video, a few people reacted to the video on their stream. And uh, yeah, they gave their opinions about it. <laughs> that Yeah, like Leafy literally already got bullied off the at once it wasn't there a huge drama about him like quitting for a while for like years because he was so sad and whatever that people like and now you're gonna come back and pretend that you don't care like you obviously care dude <laughs> but it's, but i mean act brave dog like you know women is about the safest thing you can do on the internet as you can see from that clip here this guy you know he really loved the video and he would also love to see leaf succeed in today's climate i'd love to see him succeed in today's climate anyways i'm gonna wrap up my part if you want to see more from me a cheetah will link my channel in the description i make videos just like this over on my channel and anyways, I'm out. So in conclusion, what did we learn today? Well, we learned that Pokimane is race baiting. We learned that Pokimane cannot take criticism. And finally, that Pokimane is the internet's biggest supervillain who also has a boyfriend. But nah, all jokes aside, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are at all new to the channel. If you enjoyed Tag Swag's part of the video, go check him out. Links in the description. While you're there, go follow my Instagram and my Twitter. Also join the Discord server. All links are also in the description. But nah, hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.